Welcome to the G Sport on Joy Prime. My name is Miss G, and it's always a pleasure to share my sport with you. Today on the G Sport, we're going to be talking about something very, very exciting. Now, a New York Times report reveals that, you know, amongst the promiscuous professions you can find in the world, showbiz personalities, media folks are part of the most promiscuous occupations, professions you can find across the globe. Are we promiscuous? Definitely, I am not. Well, I don't know whether promiscuity finds a place in show business or if show business breeds on promiscuity. We get to find out. So I have with me on set for the G-Sports, uh, blogger extraordinaire, the man who has got all the juice. Mm, in fact, eh, I say I've got juice, but this guy has got juice, you know. He knows how to, you know, squeeze it out of you. Zion Felix is called Felix Adomako, but you know him as Zion Felix. He operates zionfelix.com. And also on set with him is my sweetheart, this guy. I love him from the bottom of my heart, and he knows that I know the love is re reciprocal. And uh, his musician, very, very sweet one for that matter, Donzi. He has some sweet name, being. I'm not sure he wants you to know his English name, but you're welcome, gentlemen. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining us on this G Sports. And let me just start straight off uh, with no cares, no Ben. Are you promiscuous? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. Uh, why did you have to say um, no? Yeah, like, I, really, I, I have to think about it before I answer you. That's why. You're but sure I'm you're not, not promiscuous? No, I'm not. I'm not. But you know you're in a promiscuous op occupation. Um, for that, I'll say yes and no. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I'll say yes and no. I can't say yes or no. Like, it's yes and no. It's, that means you yourself, you don't know whether you're promiscuous. I'm not, for real. Like, for me, I'm not. But, not then, but then when it comes to the occupation, mm. it's, it's a yes and no. It's a yes and no. Yeah. Is this a promiscuous occupation you are in? Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Is <laughs> yeah, like, you've accepted it, bro. I've not asked you. <laughs> yeah, I have to add it. But is Maybe it? you not ask and somebody will think that since I am in, then I'm part. Ah, but but I'm not. You see, once you're in, you're part. No. Because when the, they're saying the, it, the fact that I'm in Ghana doesn't mean I'm a Ghanaian. No, 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 uh -huh. no, no. But you know, when you are in an occupation and they say, ah, the media folks, showbiz personalities are promiscuous, it becomes. It becomes, sure. it doesn't mean that I am. So, how do you separate you from the job? And because this is a promiscuous job. How do I separate myself from mm -hmm. the job? Mm -hmm. It depends on how I do my things. If somebody is doing something, it doesn't mean I should do the same thing. Everybody and then uh, how he or she. Uh, operate his or her business. So if I'm doing my job and then somebody wants to attach other things to what he or she is doing, oh no, nothing. But no, you think it's a misconception that we are promiscuous people? Oh no, it is true. That a lot of them, not all of them. That is why I'm saying that I'm not part. A lot of them uh, are promiscuous. But you are promiscuous to an extent. I'm not at all. Not at all. Not at all. I'll come back to what you define as promiscuous and what you think is not. But you think it's a misconception that everybody in show business yes. is yes. promiscuous yeah. because you think that you are not. Yeah. And also, um, you know, it's a general thing. It's not only showbiz. Mm. You can find pro promiscuity like everywhere. Everywhere. But in showbiz, it's glaring. Like, for instance, you're a musician and yeah. you go perform. I'm sure there are a lot of times when women have availed themselves to you. Yeah, I have friends who are not into the, this um, showbiz thing, but they also get girls do the same thing to them. How about that? But how often as compared to yours? Yeah, um, mine, I don't see that. Maybe Kofi Kanata see. <laughs> <laughs> but Why? You, like, you don't see... Or oh, once a while, but you know, it doesn't mean you have to just. You don't go see it, people you know. coming to your DM to tell you how they love you, how they yeah, want they do, to have one night stand with you. They do, but they are just fans, you know. And sometimes for me, for me, like, I feel like, you know, it comes with a job, okay? But it doesn't mean you have to um, get yourself into it. Do you think that the kind of job we do, if, you know, you can easily become promiscuous? Very, very. You can yeah. easily become one. Like, because you're always in the limelight, and then most people. If, if, you're, if you're a guy, most ladies want uh, guys who are famous. And then if, if you're a lady too, most guys want ladies who are famous. So I think w with this job... And sexy. It comes with it. Mm. Unless you have your policy and how you want to regulate your life. As if, if, 
if you don't, you don't have that, then there'd be a But what young. promotes promiscuity? You are saying that it doesn't only pertain to showbiz, that there are other f uh, people or other occupations that have promiscuous people. What promotes promiscuity for us in show business? Is it that, you know, there's a need to look a certain way or there's a need to feel a certain way or there's a need to attach yourself to certain people? What really promotes promiscuity in our sector? You know, um, when you are famous or when you are out there, like you get a lot of um, people um, getting interested in you because they see you on TV, they see how you look and all that. You get me? So um, um, I must say, it's not something that is not our fault, though. You see, the more you see, the more they are, they, are, they are exposed to you, the more you get yourself into it. Because if you don't see those kind of things, like the DMs and the girls coming to you, you, you are my crush and all that, like, you wouldn't get yourself into it. Is there a possibility okay. that you fall for some of the things that they tell you? Um, sometimes, because it depends on the person, actually. Maybe she, she's the type that you actually like, okay? So you've had so, a girlfriend from social media before? Zion Felix on me. <laughs> 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 I'm asking you, Dons, before I go to Zion. Um, not really. Not ah, really. not really is not an answer. <laughs> like, not really is like, okay, yes, but I don't want to tell you. Yeah, they are all my fans, you understand? Like, like my church members, like, yeah. You've so had a fan that just, you've, uh, you... Don't you say you said it depends on how you... Whether you like the person. Yeah, if you like the person, why not? But so I'm not it's, talking it's, about it's me. It's happened before. Uh, like me? Mm. No. Hey, don't <laughs> you are telling so much lies, huh? Like you've not had a fan that you know you fall in love with. No, no. Not yet, media. maybe um, in future. Let's no. talk about you know booze and all that before we let the ladies come in. You know they say that in this sector, you have goo free booze. B you need booze. booze is alcohol. You okay. need to high. You know either you're doing alcohol, you're smoking mm. something just because you want to keep a face yeah. and not because you want to do it but because you know that you're going to interact with fans and yeah. you want to be able to you know keep your game on and all that so it is not because you want to but the fans make you or the occupation makes you promiscuous there are certain people who don't do that gospel artists i know most of them i can't say that all of them but mo most of I've them heard that some of them also drink yes that is why i said not all of them mm. mo most of them don't drink, don't smoke before they, they go on stage. So for them, they do it uh, genuinely. And then I know there are some secular artists who also don't take such things before they, they go on stage. It's always, it's always about how you plan on your act. You don't have to get booze or you don't have to smoke before you can entertain the people. Uh, you can still booze and then go and perform poorly. Yeah. And then some people even booze and then they, they even forget that they have to go on stage. Yeah. You get it? So it's not all... all always about boozing and I, 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 I agree with you that people do that because of the fun because they think that if I smoke if I go high I have I'll have extra energy to do such things and then I, 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 I think it's because of the fans and then it, sh it shouldn't always be about over impressing uh, the fans at times you should do what you can because some people don't booze and then they, they over excite people but you, you, you can still drink and then yeah. Yeah. Now, people also say that you know it's a lonely venture mm -hmm. so another reason why they will booze another reason why they will high and all that because it's lonely you don't have friends in show business we, we, we have friends who are not in show business yes a lot of artists are, like have friends who are not in, in, in the show business when they're not on how easy it is how easy is it for you to be relevant in show business and still be able to keep your friends who are, don't understand the profession even the time constraint it's very difficult even when you have a partner it's very difficult to be with a person because you're always moving up and down like i always look at some, some artists like let's say sarko they're always going to go into this country going here, going here, going here, going here just for shows and then uh, his wife will be at home stoneboy for example he's always roaming about and his, his wife will be at Ashama or Islegon, like watching his husband on Instagram. Like <laughs> the father, or the, the kid will be at home watching his father always on Instagram. Like the father will come home for like a week and then a month later, you yeah. know, will be found. So it's not easy. Even with family itself, it's, it's not easy. The friends, they we are chicken quite them. Donzi, final family. question on this one. So, like we're saying, it's out of loneliness. I also hear that people just come to show this because they are cool girls to chop. Wow, really? Um, I, I don't think so. No, no. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Um, someone like me, I, I came into this 
thing because I love music. Yes, okay. initially you love music, and yeah. that's the passion that drives you into but, it. But once you enter, you know that ah, there are sorry to the ladies out there, but there's no way I can put it. Once you realize that there are some cool girls who throw themselves at you, you know, ready to pay your bills and all that, then it means that Charlie, you are girl, aren't you, Donzi? Some some of us will fall for that and go with it, and some no. Okay, so it's it's relative. Like it's not like because someone does that the other the, i mean others are also doing the same it you looks understand? like you don't do anything they are, proud. <laughs> it, it yeah, like, you don't do anything you are good yeah good, but good, good, yeah good. but that's me hey, you understand yeah listen. that's me trust me because um, they, they will be there it comes with the work like the job it comes with it and some of us like we've seen all this um this kind of things before from the beginning we've seen it before in the we, beginning we, it was wild we, we, we started being stars from um, shs that was when you were chopping the girls. No, when I, I was the entertainment prefect. Hey, so you go about that. people, donzi, donzi, donzi. Like, you know, you So now if you see me and be like donzi, like it's still normal. Like you're a fan. So if you're a girl, me who be from t -Poly, like when I was in school performing and all that, the girls, oh, donzi, I like you. And you see, I hear the same thing. I feel like you are doing this because I'm, uh, I'm on TV. Like I'm donzi. Like you just want to have... A feel of me that's all okay so but then again if i like you and i can vibe with you you know i can go with you um, i mean on that vibe with you but i'm not talking about me like my other colleagues do you get me donzi yeah, by the time the girls come hitting you hard i'm sure you will speak the truth <laughs> i hear that in show business it's difficult to get married i also hear that in show business, the women are always favored because the men, sorry to say, want to see their shape. So if you're a man and you can even do better than a woman, you're not allowed. Well, the ladies will join us and we'll talk about promiscuity in show business. Have you found the need to be promiscuous? 50-50. I always say 50-50. Are you promiscuous? I could be, but not yet. Oh, so you're waiting for a certain time? Yes. When is that time? It has to be worth it. In showbiz, people want to see stuff that are promiscuity, like has to do with promiscuity. Sometimes they want the, the negative news instead of the positive news. If you saw me act a certain way in a movie, it doesn't mean that I'm one. Exactly. Mm. So people should be able to separate what they see in movies and or in the media oh, from yes, the thanks. true self. Now, in no particular order, let me introduce the ladies to you. Uh, I have to my, uh, this is my left, my left, <laughs> uh, Gaddis Most Beautiful 2012. Um, she's become an actress now and she's been moving from one set to the other. MFA, you all know her from back in the day. She won that and uh, the Votarians were very, very proud of him. And then also we have in the house Victoria Lebanon Mekma. She's always hiding a surname, but I'm proud to be able to pronounce it. <laughs> Maybe because people don't know how to pronounce it, but Victoria Lebanon Mekma is a model and an actress as well. And these two will be joining us to talk about promiscuity in show business. So, like I asked the men, let me ask them, are you promiscuous? I could be, but not yet. Oh, so you're waiting for a certain time? Yes. When is that time? It has to be worth it. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it means that all the advances you've gotten so far, they yeah, haven't been worth, not it. worth it. At all. I like the way you put yours. <laughs> Lebanon, <laughs> yeah, I know that you can be very, very truthful. <laughs> Well, you just made me start laughing without any oh, answer. Oh, have you found the need to be promiscuous? 50-50. Um, hmm. I always say 50-50. 50-50? Yeah. What 50-50 means? Um, I mean, sometimes in your approaches, you know, when it has to do with career, you know, modeling, perhaps you have to model for a particular brand, maybe a lingerie. You have to obviously try to look sexy to promote the brand. Yeah, but if you look yeah, sexy, everybody case. tries to look sexy. Sexy, looking sexy has nothing to do with promiscuity. It's only when you know you're doing extremely more extra. Yeah, I mean I haven't gone the extra mile yet. Hey, are you sure? Yes. Hey, even my father doesn't believe you. She's looking oh, at you. Oh, yeah, very <laughs> sure. <laughs> anyway, so you you're not promiscuous, or you say fifty fifty? Mm, no, I'm not. You're let not. Me, let me let me let me take away the fifty fifty. You're I'm not. not yet. Yeah, I don't know what would edge me to become, but for now, I'm not. I'm surprised. Mm. I don't know what to ask you. Seriously. Hey, mm. you can't lie. <laughs> hey. See, the people are staring at you. They are calling Kofi oh, no. Adolu's name while they are calling you. Who is you that? You are saying, oh, really? It has gotten Wait. that bad. You don't know him again. The, can we just... 
Okay, so promiscuity. answer the question. I am not promiscuous. <laughs> so what what you did with Kofi is what? Um, that was just by the way. I mean, so it's not promiscuity. I, I don't know. It has what no, nothing to do with promiscuity. No, no. of course not. I no. Mean, Promiscuity is when it becomes excessive, like excessive sexuality. Mm. Oh, okay. You so understand. it means that you also have been practicing, but yours is not in excess. So you, you, you can have an intimate relationship with somebody, mm -hmm. but that doesn't make it promiscuous. Exactly. No, yeah. but in this case, the somebody we are talking about, mm -hmm. no, is there somebody that... That is somebody, somebody, then it becomes basa like that. Okay. That so. I don't even want to make basa. So in fact, let's continue. So since you talk about, let's move on. But I'm, I'm just reminding that people watching will be saying, ah, is it not this girl? Ah. Oh, this girl. That one is dead case now. Let's move on. Mm, so you're not promiscuous. No, I'm not. But you believe that show business is filled or full of promiscuous folks. Um, I should say yes because um, you know um, in showbiz people want to see stuff that are promiscuity like has to do with promiscuity. You know before they buy it or they get involved with it. You know. Sometimes they want the, the negative news instead of the positive news. So if I get what you're saying, is the people that make show business yeah, promiscuous? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's our people. It's us. But you don't want to be promiscuous. No, I don't want to. So MFI, if you agree with her, mm -hmm. because I saw you nodding, you agree with her. Yes. So we are there, we are making people make us promiscuous. Mm. Unfortunately, it's nearly impossible to separate it, uh, show business and promiscuity, because... People are unable to separate what people in the media do from their true self. So they are loving what you do, but they think they're loving the person. And then they end up throwing themselves at you. And this is the human kingdom, not the animal kingdom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People have blood and they will react just as they are supposed to. Yeah. No. Okay, so before somebody who approaches you with their intent to make you promiscuous, you might have exhibited tendencies of being promiscuous that's what i'm thinking exactly this is why i'm thinking that if you saw me act a certain way in a movie it doesn't mean that i'm one exactly mm. so people should be able to separate what they see in movies and or in the media what from the expect. true self yeah. yes but when they approach you sometimes you tend to give them that as well in the bid to get the attention and to keep them loving you as a fan um, well, like she said, if you have to act some type of way just for a movie or a film or something. But in reality, when I see you, because I've already conceived that this is Victoria Lebanon who was acting maybe like a Dolly Parton in some movie, and I've seen her in reality, I want Dolly Parton. And you also have that, you know how for some people act and then they use their characters in calling them on a yeah, daily. Yeah. And so they also want people to think that, okay, it's my, I'm that character you saw. Yeah, but it's left with you, the individual, to, you know, try and differentiate from what you acted to how you are really in person. It's That's how you your relate. fans won't love you because you want them to love you, so you might oh, want to. Oh, that's me, Tissa. I'm not like that in person. I just had to act it. That's why it's called acting. Is it widespread, no. you know, beyond, you know, us, this issue of promiscuity? Because we've already accepted that, you know, promiscuity prevails or exists in show business. Is it widespread or is limited to only those who, you know, are actresses, musicians, models, and all that? Is it widespread? Oh, it's very widespread. Yeah. It's unfortunate that those in the media are in front of a canvas. So your business is in front of everybody. Everybody is into your case. It happens even in corporate, uh, organizations. corporate organizations, at homes, everywhere. I like to say even churches. Mm -hmm, yeah. But it's not in the faces of people because people really do not care about people's lives. But in the media, I really care because I'm investing in your career. Yeah. Mm, mm. So I really care. I need to know what's going on with you. Before we go for the battle of the sexes, I hear in the media there's a lot of intent. For lack of a better word, you know, those who have been to uni, there's a word they say, and uni and SS, even though in SS we say intent, where media folks are dating. Oh, each other. Yes. Oh, I mean, yeah, it, sh it shouldn't be strange. Oh, I, I, it shouldn't be it's, strange. It's, it's, you even should tell us that it's not strange. Um, it's not strange, but I hardly see peers, you know, falling in love with each other in the same industry. Just a few people have fallen in love with each other, but then um, the majority, they don't. It's, it's not about necessarily falling in love. Most of the time, I hear the fling. Just no, the, the, the person is the next person to fall onto. Yeah, so it comes back to what I said. Mm. 
you're doing the same thing together. You're getting used to the person, mm. but you're not able to separate what the person is doing. You see how you look, you're looking very beautiful. Mm. Everybody sees it now. It's happening on the set. So if I have a guy, I nearly might just get attracted to you. And then it's some sort of energy. I wouldn't have a choice but to bring it. And then there could be that. It, it's, not, it's not for the sake that, you know, you understand my profession, I understand your profession. That can also be rude. It yeah. cannot be rude. Yeah. Hmm. The fact, you see, you need to understand each other first before the whole thing called the fling can happen. Anyway, so we want to have a heated argument now. And we are calling on the men to join us for the battle of the sexes. We're still talking promiscuity in the media here on the G-Spot. Please stay because it's about getting interesting. Who gets more favors? I hear the women do. Just shake your backside and then, you know, the big guys will come saying, I want MFA on your TV. Otherwise, I will draw my sponsorship. I got it. Hey, <laughs> what will happen when Victoria Libanese says, you know, I'm not doing this thing anymore. And you say, uh, you're going home if you don't sleep with the boss. We'll talk about that during the battle of the sexes. Please stay. Back to the G Sport. It's always a pleasure to share my sport with you. And we're live from the premises of Orca Deco. You need to pass through Orca. They have great stuff from furniture to bathroom, kitchen wares, you know, textiles for your home, sports, everything you need to make your home an exquisite and memorable one. You need to pass through Orca because they say they want to make memories with you. Come here and get some memories for your home. My name is Miss G, and if you just joined us, this is the G Sport. And today we're talking about promiscuity in the media. Now, we've had two rounds already, or two sessions already. We've had the ladies speak, we've had the men also speak about what they knew about the media when it comes to promiscuity. Now we have the battle of the sexes. Both sexes are going to be speaking on the issues of promiscuity in the media. So I need to introduce them once more. And I have at my extreme right, extreme pa, the man himself, Donzi, musician Donzi, Tema Bay's musician, and Dan Suma, not Tema. Tema. Okay, sometimes I hear you say Dan Suma, so I DC, get confused. DC. DC is what? Dan Suma City. Donzi Chaka. Ah, okay. So Donzi Chaka. So he's a Tema Bay's artist. Then next to him, I have Victoria Lebene Mepa, actress and model. Next to Victoria is Zion Felix. Felix Adumako is his real name. And he has zionfelix.com. And then the beauty queen herself, uh, Mepa, Ghana's most beautiful 2012 actress. And uh, no, now she's get, she's almost a graduate. So I'm going to say students as well. But uh, they are on the set with me today to discuss. And um, let me first ask them what they've been up to. So in no particular order, MFA, what's been the latest with you? I know you're schooling I now. Know, school mm. is the project, but I'm still working on my brand, Hairs la Mode. It should be opening in about two or three months. Okay. Zion so Felix, I'll get that for free. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so that's what I'm building on, mm -hmm. and I get to host GMB mm -hmm. every year with okay. TV3, yeah. yeah, basically, and school, 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 like I've been chewing the books, ah, It's I very important, you will pay off when showbiz is not paying anymore. <laughs> anyway, uh, Zion. ZionFelix.com, so mm -hmm. you will right with Zion Felix. Kokonsa, uh, man, big one. And ready, you go too. <laughs> and, uh... Madam herself. Yeah, so I'm currently in school, mm -hmm. studying uh, strategic communications. Hey. And um, I'm working on my personal projects that has to do with my foundation. Uh, we're going to look at sanitation and a lot more. I'll bring those details as time goes by. Okay, so we're waiting to hear the details and then... Just and uh -huh. brand ambassador for Pineapple Cosmetics. Yeah, she yeah. got the products alone. She didn't even pass <laughs> to us. I'm bringing you soon. I can't wait. <laughs> now, Donzi, let's hear you. Yeah, so um, I released a new song. Uh, Are you still a pasta? No. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I released a new song. Um, it's an all-star song. Who's that girl featuring B for Bona, PC, D Crime, Kwesiata, Flyboy Jesus, and then Alobra? Tell my you love yourselves. Yeah, it'd be normal. Ah. That's how it's supposed to be. You know? The unity in Tema, eh? I want the Tema base artist. Okay, the one that they make us see anyway. It's, it's unique. <laughs> Yes. Anyway, so we are back on set. So initially we talked about promiscuity and who is promiscuous. Now we are here. The men and women in the industry, who are the most promiscuous? <laughs> like really? The oh, men. The men. That's the men. Okay. I mean, there's like, no battle behind this, actually. It's even our culture doesn't have... Even if women were promiscuous, mm -hmm. it cannot happen because our culture doesn't allow us to go forth to chase men. So you see, the men... 
They are yeah. very, very promiscuous. They're always getting at us in every Easy. angle. Uh -huh. We are the same. Okay. Oh, I'll tell how? You what. Tell me. When it comes to that, um, you know, we the uh, men, yeah, mm -hmm. we go for anything, like when we are on heat. Like, hey. once we want you it, we'll go for it. Mm -hmm. No, I'm, I'm, let, me, let me finish with my All point. Right. Like, you want to go for it. Once we are on heat and we want something, we'll, 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 we'll try as much as we can to go for it. But the ladies, they discriminate a bit. They want a nice guy. And sometimes they think about someone they can have a long-term relationship with. You understand? Mm -hmm. So, at the long run, we all do it. But if you're thinking of someone they can have a long-run relationship with, there's no promiscuity. They are, they are securing no, their No, I mean, that's what they future. think. Okay. But that's not what it says, like, in actual fact. Because, and at the end of the day, they still do the same thing as we are doing. Though we, we, we just have a limited time, like, a little time to think about it, whether to do it or not. And so it makes you promiscuous then? And that's what I'm saying. It's both of us. Like, we all do it. But your okay. level is higher. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 in that sense. I mean, like, <laughs> like for, um, the, it takes a, a, like a little time for us to just decide to do it or not. Mm. But for them, they have to think about it a bit. They, have, like, they need to see the person, like, whether he's handsome or not. Like, they think about all those kind so of things. So if it's taking you two years uh -huh. to settle on a man, mm. no. and it takes you one second to get on heat, imagine the number of women no, you by the end of the day, two years. At the end of the day, we all, like, it, it all boils down to... <laughs> for you. It boils down to, like, the same thing. We are all doing it, okay? But I want you to accept or... That's either what? you're accepted yeah. or you're Jeez. not... Uh -huh. yeah, I think it's, it's the way I was looking at them when they, they, they rush to say the men, the men, the men. Emmanuel, uh -huh. gee, do you know the, the, the kind of big men the ladies know, eh? The kind of big men the no, ladies the, know. The, the big men also know ah. them as me big gee. men. No, it's, it, you can't just no, know a, a big man just like that. No, big man doesn't that big man, that big man didn't come scared. to ask my name. So <laughs> if the person came to ask your name, why didn't you refuse uh, in, in give your name to a person? Ah, wait, 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 I'm coming. I'm, I'm, building, I'm, I'm building a point. After giving your name out, Give your contact out. You go to the person's house, not once, not twice, countless times. If you a a a football field, ah, uh, go to the person's house to do what? That's to dine with the person. To dine with the person. Uh, do you dine with big men in, 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 in this modern Ghana just like that? Hey, why? Because when you're coming, at least take this transportation. The transportation is not the two thousand transportation. You know. So you know, ten thousand promiscuous about this. <laughs> no, so, it says what you're in the my, big man's house. Wait, my wait, point is, wait, so wait, who, wait, who please, gives I'm ten thousand? I'm coming. I'm not who cutting. gives ten thousand is for free? After that, you say I'm going to Dubai. I'm going to China. I'm going I've to this never for seen holidays. Ten thousand for free, please. Wait, show me. <laughs> <laughs> Vic, don't, don't let me mention this. Vic, 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 for Vic, transportation. Vic. Oh. Ah, he's saying he no show me. Okay, so it means oh, yeah. that you know. So no way to let me ask Vic. Is she, is she trying to tell us that about eighty percent of the trips that she's been going are financed by Victoria? Lebanon. I'm looking at my course. camera. <laughs> I'm looking at my camera. Of course. Uh, Where is my I'm camera? I'm so proud of the lady I am right now because some of my trips are most what, like where do you make the money from? Mm -hmm. Oh, she really? signed a contract. I get it. That contract. was just yesterday. My uh, photo modeling job pays me a lot because I model for brands. She okay. and I get it. She That's didn't right. come from space. She comes from a family. All my life, all my trips are. <laughs> okay, just so why is it that myself. men always think? Anyway, I'll ask men in the industry because they are here. Always think that when a woman is doing well in the industry, is a man that must be funding all these things. Like, when a woman is doing well, okay. when, when a woman is doing well in the industry, mm -hmm. doing well in the industry or like buying okay, expensive buying things. expensive things, going on trips, you know, spoiling <laughs> herself. Is a man that is funny. Miji, you no, know, not, we know not the kind everyone of what they do. who does well buy expensive stuff. Oh, okay. You're you telling me something. Well, for, for me, because I, I happen to find myself with brand marketing, I happen to get most of these things from the, the companies or the endorsements I get on. Including so your travel I, expenses. Yes, yeah, so I, I mostly ah, don't they pay buy for your trips too. Yeah, but if she has to go and model <laughs> in Dubai, how is she supposed to get there? I, I why? MF, are you now answering for her? Yeah, but because... The last time I checked, she's a woman and I'm a woman. <laughs> <laughs> but why did I become a man? <laughs> uh, oh, no, but I'm asking you, the men. It, mm. it's, it's becoming very obvious that uh, there cannot be a successful media woman going be. on trips, you know, Dubai today, China tomorrow, Japan the next day, uh, Korea. Maybe. It's the same as the way um, people see um, nice guys on the screen. like. If you're a nice guy it's in the industry, boy. they see you to be like a womanizer. 
they don't they don't actually know what you 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 really uh, I mean you really are. Mm -hmm. But once you are nice, you're on the screen. You look like John um, Dumelo or Majid. It means you're a womanizer. Mm -hmm. Same way, if you also see, uh, and sometimes it, it depends on um, what we see you doing. You can't say you can't see someone like Nana Banamoy and be like um, a man is sponsoring her or something. You get me? Yeah. They, it, it, it depends on Why, the person. Why? You have to have a certain look. No, Before we have to know what you are actually what you are doing. doing. Like, uh, you know, so what say you, you say you are an actress. actress. You don't see you acting. Like, do anything. You are movie, you are traveling. You are buying Jay Wagon. You are buying Bentley. <laughs> you are buying this direct. Like really. So, all of a sudden, acting money has not really. Uh, who has called you? 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 Who has called uh -huh. eh, my acting money no reach G wagon. Uh -huh. Maybe it's now that it's coming. But if a man, reach. let me ask you this straight up, because mm -hmm. that's that seems to be what they think that if a man approaches you, yeah. he likes you, he sees Victoria Lebanon in bikinis, you know, he sees you wriggling your waist and all that, he likes your shape, blah blah blah. He's ready to buy a G wagon. Oh, just be his girl. Um, just be your girl. No, if you're ready to go down the aisle with me, yes, I'll take it gladly. Ah, but I would already reject. I would reject the G wagon. Without you won't date a married man. Feather, you feather. won't date a married man because he's, because Hell no. he won't walk you down yeah, the aisle. You now. leave the G wagon. No, I'll leave it. And it's not mine. Which one comes first? Is it the being the girl before me, the G wagon yes, or the G wagon before the I guess girl? It's not the, the, I like not Jane Stringle. Jane wagon. Please, stuff. it's a given. Let me be truthful Be truthful to me. It's a given. This what I'm saying, my sister. Be my girlfriend. Please drive G wagon. Do you become the girlfriend before the G wagon or the G wagon before the girl? It's a given. Once you say you are my girlfriend, you have G wagon. It's packed for you. What color? Which your model? The way you are doing, the way you are doing, you are me change. She'll take it. She'll take it. No, but even Victoria will take it. Give it to me. Even you will take it. You take it and come and clean your mouth and sit down and do like this. Say who bought the G wagon? Let me not sit here and lie. You see, you know you are telling lies. Like my mind might change, so. Your mind mm -hmm. might change. But which of these professions in showbiz, you know, from journalists to actors, musicians, dancers, models, which are which of these are prone to promiscuity? Pa. For reason, the guys for for movies, the actresses. Hmm. Mm. The actresses, I not judge. the actors. No, no, the actresses. The actors are the ones kissing yeah, I think the actresses. The, musicians, the, so. the, the, the actresses are always dressing glamorous, red carpet, and then. They're always, they're always in the light. Okay, like, well, it's true. In our face. The actress. They're always in our face. Instagram, every day, posting yeah. pictures. Yeah. Like everywhere, wake up at slaying. Yeah. So the big men always see the actresses. But so bloggers are not promiscuous. I dread to say beauty queens because of the perception about beauty queens. You know, the whole idea of being a beauty queen is hello, here I am. Mm -hmm. Look at you me. Can have I'm me. beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it sends a certain signal that it's nearly possible to be promiscuous. Hmm. Have you had people approach you after Most Beautiful and, you know, ever since, oh, you know, yeah. to yes. say, oh, I saw you doing the Most Beautiful Days, oh, you're my favorite, you know, can I invite you to my house, or uh, can I fan be your... Fan uh, love, fan no. love. You, everything is fan love. <laughs> <laughs> I, I should say yes. What's, what's the can't. strangest you've, you've experienced? Like dropping from nowhere and asking that I marry you. You know, from nowhere. That's serious. And, yeah. Oh, that's serious. I don't know you. How can I marry you? No, but he's just making a proposal. If you don't want to just say no, did he have to pester you? No, no. The fact that you're not even pestering, the fact that you don't even want to get to know me. You know what? I want to marry you. No, it should be that. I mean, no, I know chimp. Get to know you. <laughs> oh, then, but straight away, marriage tells me that no. I have to sit properly and, mm -hmm. and, I, and I rearrange myself and understand. Is it that you want to know me or you really just want the other one? Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So for you, you said the actresses are not even the musicians. So the mm -hmm. men, they are not promiscuous at all. You asked of So I'm the saying the professions. Do. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you said the actresses are even more promiscuous music, than they. The guys yes. and then... With, you know, with, the, I, said, I said with music, the guys. Oh, with music, the guys. And yeah. the dons, they are tall nice. So. <laughs> Uh, uh, it's but there, but I can see it. Uh, but I'm surprised you guys are not talking about those in the, uh, I mean, the journalists. I'm and all I, I asked you other bloggers. I asked but you. But you didn't add footballers, so. Okay, footballers as well. But yeah. the, yes, is an extreme case. Yeah, yeah. We all accept that. I'm but I have, that. I have some footballer friends, but forgive me if you're a footballer. It's an extreme case. It's too much money not knowing what to do with it. Yes, but do you, do you agree with me that you have to be able to afford it to be promiscuous? 
Yeah. Yeah. Look, there's money. I, I there's I money. Think, you know. Yes. I, well, maybe this is my opinion. For me, mm-hmm. I haven't given my opinion. Mm-hmm. I think the hundred percent actresses because. Being an actress comes with a lot of packages. Like you have to look some type of way, you have to present yourself some kind of way, you know. It, it comes with so much package that we, we intend to um, give others the wrong perceptions about us without they knowing who we really are, you know. So I think actresses tend to be more promiscuous than any other. Could you also profession. be that before you, you, you didn't say what are yeah. you sure that musicians... I wanted to talk about the journalists. Okay, you know, tell right? me. You see, um, the way they put people's issues out there, they, they are always afraid that someone might also put their issues out there. And they know how it feels like. So whenever they are doing sad things, it's on the low, coded. No one sees about are it. Are you sure? I know what how I'm telling you. How many of them do you know? Oh, Zion is here, you are here. Like, I know a lot of people. <laughs> you understand? Like, really? Yeah. Is Zion, yes. media, ask for media, I don't oh, yeah, know. I don't do anything, so I don't know. But you, you now you are, you are not part because uh, she's yeah. married. Yeah. She, no, wait, too. Because she's married. So if you're married, it means that you don't do anything. <laughs> okay, fine. Ah, Zion, the way I'm uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, saying uh, something. Like, you know, I'm doing something, you're not telling me. <laughs> 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 so, there's um, mostly. No, is it because he said Zion you know, does meet. Uh, journalism and no no because no, no, no that's not the issue but i'm just saying that um, because you you're always on the radio or on tv like you you always want to keep your, we don't your have stuff time. on time i'm dying i think you should take up this one it's, but we, we don't, don't have time we don't have time it's true that some of the media guys they do things so. ah, guys do or things. girls the, the guys i don't know about the ladies though but for the guys tell me what do the guys do they do things like like this, what the musicians do like you know but when, 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 you are, okay. when you are coded mm-hmm. You are innocent. That's, so, that's like what the musicians do. So, you agree that the musicians what are promiscuous? What Zion said, that's what I'm saying. No, but you've agreed. <laughs> no, not really. Because, you know, it, and that reminds me of the fact that they say the men, you know, you have a way of getting rich ladies, especially the musicians. And so, as he's speaking about abrochure trips for the women, mm. it just occurred to me that the men who travel in music a lot, mm. most of them, I hear their trips are funded by women. No, so, really. make a show about it, no show, but some woman has paid, come and service me and come back. Oh, for that, I don't, I don't know about that. Maybe you should ask them, the guys who travel a lot, like... But Nero you also X, travel. Nero X, Bisaki, the, those people, they, like, they travel <laughs> a lot. Sapo <laughs> Yeah, me. Oh, you know how much is Sapo I travel Disney? last, Sapo oh, eh. <laughs> I know him personally, so I know uh, what he goes there to do. do. I went, uh, I traveled last, last year, and I went for a show with Sapo I'm going this year, too still um, for a show. So, so w- when you go for shows that like, you don't have women, you know, telling you that, oh, I can bring you to a brochure, like, you know, anytime you want to come. Um, I mostly see the um, organizing, like the show organizing. I, asked, I, I didn't ask you about organizing. I said, <laughs> do you have women? <laughs> yeah, so. There are also, there's also talked about the fact that, you know, sex for jobs is very, very yes. relevant or a was was what we're pertinent Very. or prevalent in this uh, oh, industry? Very relevant. Tell me. I mean, not even just in the industry. It's everywhere. Schools, churches. Ah, uh, they say have sex before companies. you come to my church. <laughs> of course, if you want. Are you something. serious? Like you have to ask before them first before you join. Before you join, you join the bar. Bar. No, no, not before you join. No, in fact, just one on one something. No. Corner, corner, ca- crowd are you speaking or from experience or you're just saying because from you want to say? all those things i've heard yeah. have anybody asked you in the industry a movie director somebody who wants to cast you you know somebody for modeling and all that say you need to sleep with me i don't know any actress that hasn't gone through that oh, it's just left with you you haven't yes yeah, have. praise, praise jesus mm-hmm. it's just left with you the individual to decide what exactly do you, do you want to be seen as that kind of actress that rolls through fame because of that, you know. So. I also have heard that there's no actress. Okay, she says she hasn't, but there's Maybe no actress. Maybe because I haven't done acting. Actively. You haven't really gone in like. Yes. And you don't. So you get. Ca- they called you. They call you to cast you. You don't yes, go auditioning. I, go, I haven't auditioned yet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe that's the difference. But yes. I, 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 I don't know if you've also heard that they say there's no actress in Ghana that can beat her chest and say she never slept for the I have never ever slept for the I have your chest. I have never ever slept Seriously. This is one thing that I'm proud of myself about, mm-hmm. really. I have never ever gone through that mile to get to where I am right now. You haven't slept with anybody mm-hmm. for the job? No. Never. Have you slept If with I you? did, I would have been, I'm, I'm sure I might have been much bigger than I am right now. Do you understand? gone the extra mile perhaps to Nigeria, perhaps to other African countries. But because I haven't, I'm keeping my pace, 
working slow by sure, and I know I'll still. Is get that there. to say that all the big names had to sleep? Before. I'm not saying, but I'm I'm speaking for myself that because I you said you would have been big by now it means that some people are doing. I would have been bigger, mm. as in going to other African countries to and fro. I see a lot of them that. do that. Yeah. Do you mean that they are doing? I don't know. Zion. Yeah. <laughs> We've heard it. We've heard it. We've heard some people say uh, they were offered. And then they rejected it. I was offered, offered an idea. I accepted it. 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 I can say that I refuse yeah. to become an actor you just because stand your somebody grounds. wanted to have their way and I felt <laughs> it was not worth it. Well, I think that if you're planning your life around one thing, you see, because you identified the many talents that you had. When the acting didn't work, you didn't have to sleep. Yeah, trying to play well, yeah. my dear. It it but but eventually, years, uh, you eventually, yes. eventually, because here am I chewing books, and then you want me to put the book aside, come for a script, and you want to offer me that. Look, I don't even look like it because I'm not smiling. I'm sweating at night, studying. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So I have to put myself in a certain way. She's modeling on the side, so she's just she's not desperate, wanting to be an actress. So that she would have that options coming in. If you have other things to do, my dear. Just attend to it. Just attend to it. They will come asking you to come. They will come chasing. Okay, so I guess we have to draw a line on this conversation. So you say the ladies are promiscuous. Yeah. You are not. Yeah. You say the men are promiscuous. You are not. You say the women are promiscuous. You are not. You say the men are promiscuous. You are not. So, in your case, the men, the men make us promiscuous. They facilitate it. So, are they the men in the industry or not? Is it the men oh, in the industry? The, not, not the men in the industry. It comes from the outside. Outside. Both yes. outside. Both and outside. The women say they are not promiscuous. You are. Do you think that, like she's saying, you are the ones who cause them to be promiscuous? Mm -hmm. Hey. Who causes the women to be promiscuous? The men outside the industry. <laughs> <laughs> the I mean, but they are I mean, still men. I mean, Whether the, inside or outside, they are the, still men. No, I, I'm not talking about the industry, guys. The big men outside the industry. So for you, it's the big men that... Yes. What are they doing? They are doling out cash. Exactly. And, and assets. And traveling expenses. And, 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 hey, and I have found ah. one. Yeah, I'm looking Who? for one. No. So we... Can't you... Straight question to you, I Zion. So if you find a sugar <laughs> mummy... Because you're talking about big men. Yeah. 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 I had Who one, but I, I, I rejected it. Why? You had one. <laughs> yeah. You rejected. Yeah. She was ready to pay your travel she expenses. Would, she and all she's in the US right now. She, like she was and she's still in the US. No, no. He's asking why. Why? Ask him why. She got me. Me, 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 me type. It's not about money. I don't, I don't need money. I have my. Happiness. I don't have money, but I don't need money. Happiness, baby. So she got me. <laughs> also, I want my, my age mate where we can chill, you know. Chat. What if your age mate was rich? I'm sorry, I'm taking your mm. job. If you are rich, like it's, I said, I want my age match. So, it so if you are, the fact that you are older than me in Kwa mm. you're off. Oh. Madam, please. The men, no. the men. Everything is the men, no. mm, They are the ones causing everything. <laughs> the men. Yes, <coughs> um, we are not gay, like, no, so without the ladies, we can't be promiscuous. You see? You see? If they are not there, we can't That's be. That's the truth. So but if, if you are, tighten so your if you thing. are doing the same thing with them, then it means. They are also involved, you understand? They cause us to do it. For so does this point has been the exact same from uh, the initial the stages of this one? And uh, that will be for this conversation. At this point, I get to put them on the spot. Things that they don't think will be coming, um, I throw to them. So I'm going to start with Donzi. If you're ready for me, Donzi. I'm giving you three <coughs> categories of ladies. You have to choose, you have to group them in a certain order and tell me why you put them in that order. So you have Emosha, you have Deborah Vanessa, mm. and then you have your favorites. You mentioned her name here, Nana Banamwa. Mm -hmm. So you have three categories, they have three different things. You know, who would you say is the sexiest? Who would you say is the dumbest? <laughs> and who would you say is the most intelligent? Oh, Sally, that's the same way. Intelligence, I'll go for um, Nana Ba. Okay. And then sexy, um, Debbie, and then that's it. Yeah, <laughs> the last one goes uh, to the last. It's person. okay, no, it's okay. Yeah, I gave you three people. Why are you said I don't want to answer that one, so you can deduct it from my points. <clears throat> now, Lebanon, we are always scared. I won't drink. <laughs> You're always scared. I won't drink. So, I hear that you always prefer to date people who are. 
times three times four your age because you mm. think that this is what I heard you think that they are able to take care of you some more and they are not stressful when it comes to the bedroom job and so you are able to handle <laughs> what is this all from <laughs> that's what I heard oh that's that's a wrong eh? rumor and, and the person is that's why you know you had Ajunlo in your life some time back no 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 so who would you rather prefer? Um, my age mates, or perhaps um, two, three years older than I am. Two, three years yeah. older than I am. So I don't know it was a mistake. You know, sometimes I, I love the fact that um, your other partner would be a little, you know, like two, three years older just because of his experience about life and all those things. Yeah. Mm. Zion, now to you. Now, also, my question to you, it will be something similar to Donzi. Okay. And I know that you there, you throw the fire. <laughs> so, we are talking about, you had a mixture, he had a mixture. You, I'm going to give you just actors. This one, they are guys. So, so we have a Prince David Ose, we have John Dumelo, and then we have Two Sweet Annan. In these three, who would you say, you know, acts to your standard, I don't know your standard, hmm? who would you say is Ghana's biggest export? And who would you say came to the game to play? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, Dumelo is our, our biggest export. Mm -hmm. <sighs> hey, now one panel, what you say? No, you know. We are pressed <laughs> for time. You know, he got me on spot with the same <laughs> question. David. Okay, so let's hear you. David is my best. Mm. So, yes, yes. And the other one came to me. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't say anything. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so, Emifa, quickly before we go. Emifa, your heart is beating fast. You see, yeah. <laughs> she doesn't want any more highlights. She's, her heart is just beating like that. <laughs> eh, papa, papa. Eh. It's like boom, 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 like that. But let's see. Eh, let me settle with you. Have you ever had a wine night, wine night stand? I have thought about it, but it didn't end up as a wine night stand. Wait. I ended up being with the person. Okay, so you went into it for one Thinking night? Thinking that, yes. But I, I, I woke up several nights with the person, seeing the person as my, my boyfriend or, or and what husband to be. Or yeah, you are still on the journey. The, so we are still doing one night stand. Ah. Thank you very much. Whoever you, you are, you know yourself. You know her intent. But thanks to God, he, he captured and got her for you. But thanks to you for doing the watching. We are always live on Joy Prime on Saturdays between 6.30 and 7.30. My name is Miss G. And this has been my spot. Have a good evening.